This is a worked example of the lab exercise on hypothesis testing involving two groups. And I've already opened up the data file, which is called ttest2groups.sav. And you can see it involves two variables. The first variable is score. This is meant to be the performance of participants in a test to measure their multitasking abilities. Um, they're fairly high. Um, they're all less than 100. Most of them are over about uh, 70. And the second variable here is gender. Uh, I've coded the participants into gender one and two. Uh, one, I believe, is uh, meant to be female, and two is uh, coded for male. If we just have a look at the variable view, um, you can see how that was done. If you look at the gender variable, here you can see the values, and I've indicated the coding in SPSS. One is female and two is male. Uh, that's very useful to put that in in case I forget which way around I did it later on. So I'm going to go back to the data view. So now what we want to do is know whether there's a difference in the mean score for uh, males compared to females. So we need to perform a statistical test. And the test that we're doing in this exercise is the student's t-test, which uh, SPSS refers to as the independent samples t-test. So to perform that test, we just go up to the Analyze menu and select Compare Means, and then Independent Samples t-test. Independent Samples means there's uh, two groups. And we select that option, and it wants to know what the test variable and the grouping variable is. The test variable is the dependent variable, the one we measured, which is the survey score. So we move that across into test variable. And then select Gender. Gender is going to be the grouping variable to determine whether you're in group one or group two. And we need to define what the groups are because there may be more than one group in this column. So we need to tell it which of the uh, groups we want to involve. And they are going to be, the first group's gonna be the one I labeled one. And the second one is gonna be the one I labeled two, which is uh, very convenient, but doesn't have to be quite as straightforward as that. So we click continue. And now we need to uh, carry out the test. We could just check the options here. Um, you can see I've set the confidence interval as the default to be 95%. That means that the statistical threshold is 0 0.05 for the p-value, probability value. So we've set up the test. Now we need to perform it. So I just click OK. And you get two tables. And the first table is the descriptive statistics for these for this sample, you can see that there are 15 females and 15 males. The mean score for females is 82.5. That's bigger than the mean score for males, which is 75.63. So at the moment, it looks like there's some support for hypothesis that says the females are doing better on the test. Um, but we need to know whether the difference between males and females is significant. And that's what the second table is all about. And really just to... Um, uh, focus on the most important things, we'll be concentrating on the first row here, equal variances assumed. And the first uh, um, couple of columns here are about testing whether that's a fair um, assumption. Uh, we're going to ignore that. Normally, that's a fair assumption. Um, but looking at the first column, the numbers that we're interested in are the t-value, 3.893, the degrees of freedom, which is 28, and the significance, two-tailed, which is 0 0.01, and the mean difference, 6.873. The most important of all these numbers is the significance. This is telling us the probability of getting this difference between males and females by chance, at random, and it's 0 0.001, which means it's less than um, 0 0.05, which is our normal cutoff. So that tells us that the difference between men and women is a significant difference, which means we can accept the hypothesis that there is a difference between men and women, and in particular, uh, women are better at multitasking than men. Now, SPSS always performs a two-tailed test for t-tests. Um, that means uh, it's testing the hypothesis that there's a difference between men and women, but it's not looking at whether men are better or women are better. And the hypothesis that we wanted to explore for this data was the hypothesis that women are better, which is a one-tailed hypothesis. So how do we get the one-tailed significance? Well, that's very easy. 
we take the two-tailed significance, 0 0.001, and divide by 2, which gives us 0 0.0005, which is still way less than 0 0.05. So the one-tailed hypothesis is supported by the data.